Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessings be upon those who follow guidance. Hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to discuss and refute a point. I had a recent debate with a Christian on the topic Was the Prophet Muhammad prophesied by Jesus in the Bible? Now, we came to a point in the debate where Radical Moderator asserted from a verse in the Bible in John 14 through to 16, uh, which says, let's read what he says. You know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. Now, my, my opponent um, brought up that if you rightly read this verse in context, um, that it says, um, an advocate that is the Holy Spirit and he testifies, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, um, that the message will be with you. That is what he said. If you read it in context, that it's the message will be with you. Nowhere does it say anything about a message. It is speaking directly about a person. And that is what we are talking about. You Muslims recognize that this verse is talking about a person. Okay, so the debate here is that I say that this is referring to a physical person who is the prophet to come and he will guide humanity to the truth as Prophet Muhammad. But Radical Moderator is asserting that since he will be in you and he will live in you, how can this be referring to Prophet Muhammad? Let's listen. How can a person abide within you forever? That is the question. How can a person abide in you forever? Doesn't say. So here is the response. If this is true and not about the message indwelling which will remain with us forever brought by the Holy Spirit, but is indeed referring to a Holy Spirit from, uh, uh, from himself who will dwell in us, then it must be tested indeed if this is true according to 1 John 4 to 1. Now, let's analyze the verse 1 John 4 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are from God, because many false prophets are gone out to this world. In other words, the passage is telling us, you know, we need to accept all the verses, not just one verse. The passage is telling us, if there are false spirits, there must be truthful ones as well. And to determine a truthful prophet from a false prophet, uh, it must be tested. So the strange thing is this, Christians are asserting that this spirit, even though it is a prophet according to 1 John 4, 1 and 1 John 4, 2, it refers not to a physical spirit that we can see with our own eyes, but an invisible spirit. So my question is this, how could you test something you cannot see in dwelling in your body? And how could you claim you hear a voice, but you are not sure who the identity is, since you can't see it. For all I know, it could be Satan, and you can't prove it's not Satan, or the voice of Satan, since you cannot see it. So can Christians prove it is indeed the Holy Spirit? Can Christians make us Muslims hear his voice, as John 16 uh, 12 through to 18 states he will speak to you can Christians maybe get a tape recorder so we can hear the Holy Spirit say Islam is a false religion if Christians cannot prove this this then this is undoubtedly referring to a physical man who will dwell amongst his people so they can test him and hence his message will dwell in the bodies forever and ever once we accept him so the challenge is clear in conclusion Christians need to explain the following number one how can you interact and test something you cannot possibly see or verify if his voice is really from God or Satan number two why throughout humanity God sent hundreds of prophets to his people so they can interact and confirm with their own eyes the miracles to see if he is a true prophet. And all the sudden God sends to those after Jesus a spook, 
I mean, which they can't really confirm. Does that make sense? This is a clear excuse to deny Prophet Muhammad a physical spirit of the truth which makes more sense. So my challenge to the entire Christians who deny a physical spirit, show us this spirit. Show us the spirit speaking to you and can you prove it's not Satan? Can you get him to say Islam is false and Muhammad is false? And only Christianity and Paul is true. Since he speaks to you and he will speak to you and guides you according to John 16, 14 uh, through to 18. And here is the verse in John 16, 12, 14. It says uh, that shall he speak, which means he will speak to you. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatever he he, he hears that shall he speak so can Christians prove this I mean go out and get your camcorders re ready you know maybe record his voice and once you record it give me a video response and let's hear from him guiding Christianity to the truth so this without a doubt proves that it's referring to a physical prophet uh, and not just a spook that we can't test and interact with. So this is my entire challenge to the Christian world. Prove this video wrong by giving me evidence that the Holy Spirit in you is true and that you have a dialogue with him and he guides you to this truth. So give us those answers. I want to hear a recording from his mouth saying that Islam is false. And that's it. I will reject Prophet Muhammad today. But if you can't, then the burden of proof is upon you. And if you can't, then you have no excuse to follow a physical prophet like Prophet Muhammad Goodbye and good day.